Right, in this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to make a uh, a chain machine gun using fun. It's just a preview of what you're gonna be making. So first, you just want to start off making a rectangle by this one. And you want to copy and paste it by holding control. Next thing you want to do is you want to go to the circle tool and make two rows of circles. So first make the circle. Make one circle and just hold control to copy and paste it all the way until the end. And then you want to delete the leftover ones. Oops. And now just um, select one of the circles and go to selection. Select the like. Hold control. And just um, copy the circles to the other row. Then go to geometry actions. Zoom in a little bit. This way the hinges won't be too big. Quick add center hinge. Then go to hinges, make the motor strength fitity, auto brake, um, motor, make the motor speed 132, or whatever you want, but I usually pick around, I usually pick the RPM around 130, 140. Then go to forward key, make it right, back key is left, you don't need, you don't need brake key. Then go to cushion menu, and you select cushion group A and select cushion group B. Next thing you want to do is hold control and select all of the hinges on the bottom row. Then go to hinges and then for the forward key, quick make it left and for the back key, make it right. Okay, next thing, you want, next thing you want to do is click on one of the circles again and go to select the like, go to material, make the restitution 0, make the friction 1, and now go back to the rectangle tool and make a rectangle that spans from here to here. And you want to make this pretty thick, pretty wide. Now um, fixate it. Now click on this rectangle again. Go to geometry actions. Click on add center hinge. Then go to hinges, motor strength, infinity, auto brake, and then the motor speed should be around two or three. Then make the forward key D and the back key A. Next thing you want to do is make another rectangle. Put this rectangle in front right here. Fixate it. Then go to material. And then under restitution, you want to make it. Um, well, the restitution decides the power of your gun, of your machine gun. So the higher restitution, the more powerful your gun is. So I'm going to make it 900. But you can make it whatever you want. Alright, and then, and that's it. And so right now, you just fin you just finished your gun. This is it for the gun. Now it's time to make the ammo. So, make, so start off by making a rectangle. And you want it to span two circles. And then you want to get the, um, the resize tool. And make it so that the top of it touches the top row of the circles, and the bottom of it touches the bottom row. And then after that, just bring it down here and get a circle and make sure that it fits inside the rectangle. Then um, after the circle is selected, go to geometry directions, click on add center hinge. And then for the circles hinge, go to hinges, 
then go to and then for um, impulse break limit type in 20 next thing you want to do is get the hinge tool and make a hinge in front of the rectangle and I'll just select the whole thing hold control and copy and paste it and you want you want each rectangle to overlap this way everything stays connected so you can make as much ammo as you want should be enough for now and before you start doing anything delete the hinge in the front and I'll select um, the rectangle click select the like then go to collision menu deselect collision group A and select collision group B and then go to material make the friction the restitution zero and then make the friction 1 and then click on the circle go to select all I mean select the light you go to um, material and uh, oh I'm sorry go to a uh, collision menu and then select no self collision and that's it your ammo is set so all you have to do is you start the simulation and get the drag tool and then you just drag your ammo into your gun. Drag it all the way to the end. Just like this. Aim up. And then click your right directional key. And if everything goes well, here's your gun. Oh, I see the problem. What we did wrong was we um, just click on the circle, I mean click on the hinge for the circle, then go to select all alike, go to hinges, and then make the break limit um, 14 or 13. Now do the same thing, start the simulation and drag the balls into the gun, I mean the ammo. And now, um, aim it up again, and there it is. And that's all. And to make your gun even stronger, you can make the density, density of the balls more, so they have more uh, kinetic energy when they hit something. And then to compensate for their weight, you want to click on you want to make the restitution of this rectangle a little bit more. And so that's about it for the tutorial. Hope you like it. Bye.